I was a regular on the chat rooms on the deep web back when I was a sophomore in high school. Literally every day for about five months straight. Before school, after school, after basketball practice, and before bed. I was always on there. I'd chat with this one guy all the time because they seemed really cool. He'd always link me to funny videos. In about a month three, it all changed. He would send links to weird rooms, then the dark live streams. So one day I was on a stream and there was a lady chained to a bed and gagged. Then I clicked off of the stream and I tried to click something else. Then the mouse quit moving. It started to move by itself and click back on the stream with the lady chained down. When it opened back up, the lady was still there and a man with a potato sack on his head was on the screen. The potato sack only had one eye cut out and that's all. There was a table that had a hacksaw, gun, and scissors with a shaving razor. The man spoke into the camera and said, pick one. Everyone picked the scissors and the razor. He then shaved her head. After that, he said, pick another one. Then everyone picked a gun. He picked it up, held it to her head while the woman was screaming. And then I gained control of the mouse and clicked off of it. I was thinking to myself, what am I watching? Then my mouse clicked on another stream. It was the same man with a barrel with what looked like boiling water in it. I tried gaining control of the mouse, but I couldn't. Then I heard a different woman crying in the background. The camera then zoomed out and on the screen, I saw the barrel a bat, and a flamethrower. Then the masked man asked which one. The chat was split between the boiling water and the flamethrower. The man then said, I'll use both then. He rolled the crying woman into the side of the camera, turned the flamethrower on, and aimed it at the barrel. At this point, he had her chained to the wheelchair. The water in the tub was boiling out of control. She started kicking and screaming even more. The man called another guy in the room. They unchained her, picked her up, and threw her toward the barrel. The screen then went black, but I could clearly hear the woman screaming and splashing. For about two minutes, that's all I heard. Then it stopped. The screen then came back and it was focused on the barrel. The two men just stood there, staring at the camera, breathing heavily. And that woman, I don't know how to explain it, but it was a terrible sight. Then the stream ended. I closed out of everything and I sat there in silence for a while. Honestly, that wasn't my last time on the dark web because I honestly enjoyed it. There are a lot of people out there like me, more than you think. Be careful about going on the deep or the dark web. About a week ago, I was scrolling through the dark web looking at the same old stuff I usually do. I then came across a link called Sleeveless Ace. I was curious, so I clicked on it and checked it out. It was a live stream of a man who calls himself Sleeveless Ace. He was dressed kind of like a black Jack Diller, wearing a black waistcoat and a bow tie. He was also wearing a mask, a creepy jester mask like something you would see from the movie The Purge. He was set down at a table with a stack of playing cards that were face down. He then lifted the first card from the deck. It was a six of hearts. He then spoke saying, please place your bets. I didn't understand what he meant by this, but people in the comments section were placing their bets along with live or die. I was still confused. That was until Sleeveless Ace went behind some kind of curtain and brought out a man who looked to be in his 30s that was tied up to a hospital bed. He then pulled out an electric drill and proceeded to drill into the man's legs. He drilled three holes in and around each of the man's kneecaps while he screamed in agony. You could see the man screaming, crying, and let it out long breaths. Sleeveless Ace then turned back toward the camera 
and said, whoever bet live, congratulations, you have won this round. I then understood what was going on. Whatever number the card was, the viewers would bet if the victim would survive the amount of times of torture as the card number. The next card that was drawn was an ace of clubs. Sleeveless ace then said, as you all know, an ace means a torture special. He then asked what the viewers would prefer, A, a rat in a bucket while he held a live rat by its tail, or B, sulfuric acid and held in his other hand a jar of acid. The viewers then voted on a viewer poll and the rat won 51 to 49%. Sleeveless Ace then put the rat in the metal bucket, strapped it to the man's stomach and proceeded to heat the bucket with a blowtorch. I will never forget the screams that that man let out as the rat clawed and ate his way through his stomach. I sat there feeling like I was about to throw up while I watched and listened to this poor guy scream blasting through my earplugs. The rat eventually came out through the man's throat. The man obviously died because he bled out. That was where the stream ended. Sleeveless A said, thank you everyone for playing and the stream cut off. Like I said before, I've been on the dark web and seen some pretty edgy weird stuff, but I've never come across anything like Sleeveless Ace or his messed up torture games. My name is Charlie. I used to smoke a lot of weed back in the day when I was a teenager, but it became very bland and boring, but I also told myself not to try any other drugs. At school, my friend Christine told me that she heard the best weed was on the dark web. I knew a little about the deep and dark web, but I thought that drugs would be something geared more toward the deep web. Maybe I didn't know as much as I thought. My friend got with me later and told me she ordered me some weed. About a week later, I was at home by myself on a Friday night when someone knocked at my door. I went to the door and looked out of the peephole and saw some guy with a black t-shirt, black Yankees cap, with sunglasses on, and it looks like a box in his hands. I was immediately skeptical because it was 9 p.m. He didn't need sunglasses at night, and no one delivered packages this late. I didn't say anything because I figured he would just walk away. I called Christine to ask her how long that order would take and she said about a week. I told her that there's a man outside my door with a package. Could that be him? She asked why would someone be standing outside your door with weed? Then all of a sudden, I heard, Hey Charlie, I have your package. I know you're home. I see you through the window. I turned around, and this man was standing on a patio on my back porch looking through the sliding door windows. I'm guessing this guy went from my front door to my back porch because I wasn't answering the door. I told my friend and she said to call the cops. He was trying to get in the back messing with the door handle. I hung up on my friend and I called the cops. I ran out of sight of this guy, and I didn't hear him anymore. About five to ten minutes later, the cop showed up. That box was outside my back door and written on it was, you're lucky. And there was nothing in the box but paper. After that, I never spoke with my friend Christina anymore because honestly, I didn't trust her. I thought she tried to set me up. Anytime someone brings up the dark web or even the deep web, I will either change the topic or I'll be quiet. I used to visit it occasionally, but after that situation, I've never done it again.